Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Ringside Apex training headgear. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Ringside Apex Training Headgear. This retails for $79.99 from Ringside's website. Comes in four different colorways. I got mine in white and blue. You can also get it in white and black, black and red, and black and gold, and two different sizes. Small, medium, or large XL, just depending on the size of your head. If you're curious as to what size fits you, just go to their website. There's a sizing chart on there. That way you can measure and find out which is the right size for you. This headgear is made in Pakistan. It utilizes a synthetic leather outside casing. It's pretty much the same type of material uh, that you find in the other Apex uh, branded products from Ringside, like their gloves, their speed bag, and some of the other Apex uh, branded uh, equipment that Ringside sells. And it is relatively lightweight. I believe it came in at right about 10.3 ounces. So a little bit over 10 ounces for this headgear is very lightweight. Now, if you guys recall, I did a review a couple years ago um, on the Ringside Ultralight headgear. And uh, that to me is my favorite headgear for various reasons other than weight. It has great visibility um, and other features on the headgear that I, I think makes it really the perfect headgear for both beginner and advanced users when it comes to sparring. Unfortunately, Ringside discontinued that model. And I say discontinued very loosely because this Apex is basically the replacement for the ultralight headgear. Essentially, it's the same design, uh, you know, save for a few of the aesthetics of the headgear, but it uses the same exact features, both in terms of the material, the weight of the headgear, as well as the type of closure it utilizes. Um, and it actually added a really nice feature uh, when it comes to the actual um, chin strap or the chin buckle that the ultralight didn't have. So, to me, this has replaced the ultralight in terms of being my favorite headgear because of the added feature, mainly the chin buckle that they use on this headgear compared to the ultralight, which use Velcro. Uh, but outside of that, pretty much the same exact weight, uh, the same exact feel, the same exact type of liner, and this, the same exact type of design when it comes to the crown closure as well as the rear closure uh, on this headgear, which is the reason why this is my favorite, which we'll go over here. So. First things first, design-wise, you can see that it looks just like a lot of the other Apex branded products. You have uh, the ringside logo in white on the forehead right there. Uh, the synthetic material on here feels like it's on the medium to cheaper quality side. It's definitely not as nice as some of like the higher end rival microfiber products or some of the higher end uh, synthetic leathers you find out there, or synthetic material if you want to call it. Uh, but it definitely does its job. The quality on it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the most top quality headgear you'll find out there, but it definitely does its job in terms of holding up. You can see that it has the ringside apex that's printed on the side corners and the temple of the front of the face right there that drops down to the cheek protectors. You do have a good amount of padding on the cheek protectors that goes over your cheeks so that it prevents you from getting any kind of cuts or braises or abrasions on your face when you're wearing it. Another great feature of this headgear, which is one of my favorites, is that you do have a top crown lace adjustment with the nylon loops that goes through there. And what makes this headgear really nice is the fact that the crown is actually attached to the rear. So you don't have a separate lace system for the top and then a separate lace for the rear of the headgear. Let me go ahead and flip that around. A lot of headgears that are like this will have a top lace adjustment and then a separate one for the rear. So you essentially have to tie the top and then tie the back, which is not a huge deal, but I do like how they combine it to where when you use this quick tie lace system, the QTL that you can see right there, essentially it'll tighten everything down at once. Really convenient and very comfortable. You also have the flex panel technology that is integrated into this headgear. And essentially what that is, and, and they actually have it in their Mexican style one, is they have a little bit of elastic in between the rear of the headgear and the front panel of the headgear to give you a little bit more stretch and flexibility uh, with this headgear. The padding on the front face of the headgear is about, I'd say a little bit over an inch thickness in padding. 
Um, it does use a pretty uh, firm density foam on the exterior, which is gonna be the strike surface. On the inside, it's a little bit softer so that when it rests against your skin and on your face, it doesn't feel super stiff. It feels like it conforms a little bit more to your face. Uh, the ear donuts are about an inch thick, so you have those ear donuts go, go all the way around. It also says ultralight, kind of with this little cross panel of synthetic material that goes over your eardrum. It says ringside there, quick tie lace, flex panel, and it says ultralight on that side, same style of ear donut on that side. And then the quick tie lace system, you essentially have uh, these nylon loops, and what makes this nice is it's kind of like a basketball sneaker, some of the newer style ones, where the laces go through it. You don't actually have holes that you have to push the laces through with the plastic tips. Um, this has this, these loops, just like the Apex uh, gloves and some of the other ringside gloves. So when you tighten it, it tights, tightens down really quick. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised more brands don't do this, because to me, this is a much more effective and efficient system on lacing boxing gear than it is the old style of pushing uh, the laces through those little holes. Sometimes they're not even poked all the way out, so you have to go in there and kind of poke them through. Um, you have nice long black laces that are flat with plastic tips. And then the inside liner is just like the ultralight. It uses kind of this um, mesh style inside liner, which is good for keeping the, the headgear relatively lightweight but it also prevents the headgear from slipping around. So it does a pretty good job of kind of gripping onto your skin and on your face uh, while still feeling pretty comfortable and, and wicking away moisture. And then lastly is going to be the chin buckle system. So on the ultralight day I did a review on, uh, the chin strap was actually a Velcro strap. But what they did with the Apex is they actually integrated a buckle system, just like you would see on the winning style headgear that just clips right in, so all you do is make your initial adjustment, and then from there it just clips right in. So in terms of a headgear being able to be placed on your head and used right away, this to me is by far one of the easiest headgears to, to put on and to remove that I've used thus far. And because of the convenience of it, I love it. So you basically just slip it on your head. It's already pre-adjusted to the size of your head because I already did the laces on the back. And then from there, and just insert the clip and it's already on your head. Um, where this headgear excels, aside from the weight very, very, being very lightweight, is that you have excellent visibility because the cheek protectors don't extend too far. And some, and some of the winged cheek protectors, like the Fortress, basically any of the, the Japanese winning style inspired headgears that have the more protruding um, cheek protectors that are that have a little bit of an extension on them. They're great because they help kind of reduce the impact of a straight punch coming in, although it doesn't prevent your, your nose from getting hit. So I, I tell people all the time that's kind of a misconception. Just because the cheek protectors are a little bit closer together and they're a little bit more raised up, yes, it may kind of help reduce the impact, but you still will get punched in the nose. You'll feel the impact, especially if somebody punches you hard enough. So I just want to make sure that you guys uh, get some clarification on that. So with this headgear, you, you get protection on your cheeks. So if you do end up clashing heads or your head hits somewhere else on their body, like on their shoulder, you still get that cheek protection. Yes, your nose is exposed and yes, you can still get punched in the nose, but to me that helps promote better defense on your end to be able to move your head. And because of that, the mobility and the field of vision on this is excellent. You can see everything coming at you. Your, your horizontal and your vertical vision is really good so you can you know, if you're crouching underneath a shot, you're weaving, you still have that upward vision to kind of look at your opponent and keep your eyes on him and not get your eyes off track. And same thing, same thing with your, your horizontal side to side vision. So if you're uh, maybe um, slipping to the side, if you're pivoting and you, you need to keep your eyes on your opponent that's moving sideways, you can still do so even if you're out of position with this headgear. So that's really nice in that regard. So you can see the cheek protectors do their job. It feels really comfortable on the forehead and temples. There's nothing that pinches on your head. You can see that the quick clip system for the chin strap is in perfect position. It's not on your throat. It's not choking you out. It's right underneath the chin where it needs to be. And the buckle actually has a, a flap that covers over it so none of that plastic is exposed. The placement of the eardrums is perfect right over my ear. So my ear sits perfectly within this little ear donut on both sides. So the placement of that is perfect as well. And when you rotate to the back, 
you can see that the neck is tapered so that you have full rotation of your neck and the quick lace system works efficiently. So just to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and undo the laces just for the sake of showing you guys how this quick, quick lace system works. And you essentially have that. So if this headgear is loose, you put it on your head like so, and you just tighten it down. And as you tighten it, you'll see that this entire back portion of the headgear comes together, together with the top crown of the headgear. So you just tighten it down to however snug you want it, and then tie it like you typically would. Very easy to do, and it keeps the headgear nice and snug. So the adjustability of it, it's extremely comfortable. You have great field of vision. You have that quick clip system for the chin strap. The top crown feels very comfortable. Again, it's lightweight. To me, really, this is the perfect headgear. And, and like I said before, um, you know, there's a lot of other great headgears out there. The Fortress headgear. Um, I know Phenom makes a great headgear. Obviously winning has always been kind of the gold standard. Um, but I feel like this is a very underrated headgear because of all the features that it includes and how easy it is to use. Uh, now granted the quality, the stitching, you know, there's certain areas on here that the stitching could be a little bit better. Obviously the material feels a little bit on the thinner side. Um, and you know, the design of it, you know, some people might not like, like the actual look and design of the, the, the headgear where it has like that apex that's printed all over. Um, so if I were to kind of critique this headgear, I'd probably say, It'd be kind of cool if they make another version of this exact style of headgear, but make it a little bit more classic looking, like a classic boxing style headgear with a more subdued look and maybe even an upgraded ringside logo and just kind of fine tune it to make it like the perfect headgear. But it's still my favorite headgear even till this day. Um, I feel that at the price tag of like $79.99, it's relatively hard to beat because a lot of headgears that have similar features are above $100. Um, and oftentimes ringside always has sales throughout the year, so you can really score a great deal on this headgear. But, you know, for those of you that are looking for an excellent all-around headgear to use for sparring, um, I always end up kind of coming back to this one, um, or at least my ultralight one and now this one because of this chin strap, um, because I feel like this is probably the best bang for buck headgear I've used so far. Um, now I know there's a lot of other headgears out there that I still haven't tried, so, you know, obviously my opinion can change as I continue to review more equipment, but as it stands, this is my favorite still. It does an excellent job um, for sparring. Uh, feels great on my head, performs good, excellent field of vision, and, and does what it, you need it to do. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this ringside Apex training headgear. I'll see you guys later. Take care.